Let's see. Let's try that again. Sorry, I hit the wrong button on that last one, so we are going to restart. Welcome to Noonday Prayer at St. Mark's. Uh, please put any comments that you have, any prayer requests in the comment section, and also say hi uh, in the comment section as well. We'll give it a couple minutes. I had a we had to restart because I was having some technical difficulties. So we'll let people sign on and we'll get started right at noon. Hi Becca, welcome. Welcome to those just now joining us. New Day Prayer starts on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. We'll be looking at Isaiah 43, 1 through 7. Let's see. Hi, Mark. Hi, Marcia. Hi, Michael. Welcome to Noonday Prayer. Please put any prayer requests or thanksgivings that you have. And we'll get started in just a little bit. the tornado siren stop and then we'll get started. We're on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. Chapter 43, verses 1 through 7. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by my name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt out as, as your ransom, 
Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you. Because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you, I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and from the west, and I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I am created for my glory, whom I'm formed and made. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This Isaiah reading is, we're skipping ahead a little bit. It's the Old Testament lesson for this upcoming Sunday, the Feast of the Baptism of our Lord. Um, but I was reflecting on it at a, at a Bible study uh, yesterday, and we were talking about uh, uh, this is one of the only places where we directly hear from God speaking to us through the prophet Isaiah. God speaking to us and says, I love you. Uh, this is the 11th day of the Christmas season, uh, the, uh, the holiday, the season of incarnate, the incarnate love uh, made flesh, uh, unconditional love made incarnate. And so we get to celebrate God's unconditional love for us just as we are right now and notice that that promise of god saying i love you to each and every one of us it comes with uh how god shows us his love uh god doesn't say that we won't be in the fire god doesn't say we won't have to go through the water and the rivers but he says that when we go through the water we will not be overwhelmed when we go through the river we won't uh be uh, flooded when we go through the fire we won't be burned uh it seems like this uh Pandemic is going on forever, but God is with us through it. There's nothing else that we have to do to earn that love uh, to, or to prove that love or to uh, be worthy of it. We God is with us now in the midst of everything that's going on in our lives, the good, the bad. God is with us and God loves us. And so we can rest in that love knowing that there's nothing we have to do except to just be with God and be in that love. And so if you're going through a particularly hard time right now, I invite you to rest in that love, knowing that there's nothing you need to do uh, to earn it, uh, and that God is with you through it, and God will see you through uh, whatever you're going through. We'll continue with our prayers. In the middle of page 106, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the St. Mark's prayer list, we pray for the Episcopal Church, Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, the Presiding Bishop, Larry, our Bishop, our clergy, Billy, Joanna, Michael, Patricia, Susan, and Stuart, our staff and vestry. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Isiquato, the church in Nigeria, the Abba province. In the diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for St. Francis House and its ministries, for Camp Mitchell. We pray for St. Andrew's Cherokee Village, St. Peter's Conway, and diocesan office and staff. We pray for peace. We pray for an end to racism, terrorism, oppression, poverty, pollution, and persecution. We pray for all our St. Mark's staff, especially this week, Karen Blissett, our parish administrator, and for all our parish ministries, especially this week for St. Mark's Sunday Forum. 
We pray for the safety of first responders, healthcare workers, and those in the military, especially Megan, Sam, Breen, Marshall, Garrett, and Kyle. We pray for all families who are expecting children, Jack and Melody Whitbeck and Ashley Haggard. We pray for all parishioners who are in need, sick, or homebound, and for those commended to our prayers, including Cole, Betsy, Craig, Mary Sue, Suzanne, Adam, Rusty, Seal, Judy, Barbara, Sean, Billy, John, Becky, Ellen, Wes, Eva, Tom, Miley, John and John, Sarah, Barbara and William, Ellis, Brian, Rita, David, Ken, Janet, Ray, Dan, Mary, Rachel, Beth and Dawn, Donna and Jean, and Teal. We pray for all those who are celebrating birthdays today and all those who are celebrating wedding anniversaries today. And we pray for those who have died in the repose of the soul of Jim Smith Hatch. In our Facebook prayer list, we pray for Cammie's mother and family. We pray for peace. I invite you to lift up your own prayers at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for joining me and praying noonday prayer with me. Let's see who's with us. Hi, Vicky and Marty and Frida and Michael and Marcy and Mark and Becca. Hello, everyone. Thank you. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Bye.